Simon says, I just wanted to say that. Simon says, I have a Microsoft account where an old admin has synced the local AD. How can I delete old on-premises accounts that are not synced anymore because the install of Azure AD Connect changed? So uh, I'll start, Neil. Uh, um, this is this is really uh, a confusing question. <laughs> uh, and the reason why I say that is because the on-premises accounts, the Azure Connect uh, reads the on-premises accounts, right? Um, it's it's not like it just you know randomly you know can not sync. It's going to sync everything that's in the on-premises. That's its job. Now there are configuration changes that you can do inside of a, uh, AD Connect that will only sync certain uh, objects and certain containers inside of an uh, Active Directory on-premises Active Directory. So it is possible that you know there's a specialized configuration going on there that's not allowing some of those um, to sync, but it, it's somewhat a confusion because um, it, it, it doesn't, you know, it, it, all it's doing is it being like a gateway. It's just saying what's here, replicated here. And if you tell me only pull it from this container, this container, and this container, or this object, this object, and this container, and replicate it to here, then that's all I'm going to do. It the connect, AD Connect is really kind of dumb that way. So um, that's that's what I would say is we need to take a look at how AD Connect is configured, if any configuration changes were made there. And um, if there was a skip or a hiccup, if you will, with the synchronization, AD is going to pick that up. It's just something that's going to be synchronized across. I mean, that's what AD does. Um, unless they've got bigger problems with their AD. I don't know that. Uh, Neil, if you have anything to add. Yeah, I, I read it the same way. And I, one of the things that I'm kind of distilled the whole thing down to a simple scenario of it looks like, and here's what I'm reading, an old admin basically installed AD Connect and just went synchronize everything, right? The whole Active Directory from on-prem into Azure AD. They've since modified it using the filters process, the scripting PowerShell piece to, to kind of filter down on maybe like you say specific OUs or various properties of the, the accounts. But all of that content, not content, sorry, all of those user accounts and groups that were mm -hmm. synchronized to AD, Azure AD originally are still there, but now they're refining them down. So the, I think the question mm -hmm. might be, how do I clean up my Azure AD? I think there might be an element of that to the question as well. And I can't remember off the top of my head whether AD Connect will automatically clean up. I don't think it does. I think those accounts are just going to be. It's a switch. Up. It's a switch. Yeah. yeah, it's a switch in AD Connect to have that cleanup happen. So that's one thing they should look at as well. Um, but it, it's I understand where you're coming from uh, reading into that question like that. But at the same time, I kind of question that how I mean, the old admin synced everything and then you have all these other objects that are sitting there. Um, I, I'm seeing I, what I'm reading from is that it, uh, you know, is there something actually wrong with the sync itself? Because the yep. sync, the sync should pick that up. I mean, that's just, and you should start seeing those accounts getting deleted. If they if they're removed over here, you should start seeing them getting removed over there. Mm -hmm. that, you know, that's that's my opinion. Yeah, if they've been removed, or are they just old accounts that are still sat there but no longer used? Yep. Or just by the definition of old on-premises accounts, is it? I'm trying to read the context. Is it old, as in we no longer need them to be synced, but they still exist in Azure AD? But there's, like you say, it's kind of confusing. There's a number of ways just to kind of skin that cat, I guess, in terms of which which yeah. one is it. But all all options are possible. But yeah, investigate the configuration of of AD Connect. Is there a problem? AD Connect does log, so you can determine that. And then the two scenarios of, you know, is it a config change and we've, we did, it's not picking up the deletions, or is it the fact that you want to remove all the counts? So it kind of falls into the same bucket, really.